What is going on everybody? So I know that baby toys and baby products in general are an extremely hot niche. I have a bunch of clients and buddies who are doing a great, great job at selling baby toys. So I wanna go ahead and show you how you can crack into this niche. It is absolutely massive. As you know, mothers, fathers love buying toys for their kids. And you know, I have a sister that has two kids and they actually get overwhelmed on birthdays and, and don't buy them presents or they try not to buy them too many personally because they know every single person coming to that birthday party, every aunt, every uncle every cousin every grandma they're all buying presents for that cute little kid so I want to show you how you can capitalize on this in this video right here now let's go ahead and jump right into it you can see I have ad chill here I'll show you at the end of this video how to launch these products really quickly because it comes down to this guys if you want to do really well in any niche or on Shopify period you have to pick a niche for example baby toys you might be able to pick a couple if you have some time but then you have to test products extremely fast and rapidly to figure out which product is gonna win this one right here it could be a winner but it could also not be a winner right so if you can find out really quickly if the products gonna be a winner or not you're going to excel at this process now there is a problem it takes an hour or an hour and a half to test each product so thankfully at the end of this video I'm going to be showing you something that allows you to do that process in three minutes. So that's pretty exciting, right? So let's jump right into how we would do the research for baby toys. Really, really simple. There's a couple ways. You could go to Amazon bestsellers. You could go to eBay watch count. You could go just Google baby toys. But one of the easiest ways, and I really like easy ways, is just go over to the, the baby section on AliExpress because this is where you're going to be fulfilling the product from anyways, right? And you can see there's a ton of things here like toys and figures, action and toys and figures, under baby and toys, right? What we can do is go ahead and make sure to ignore any like Dragon Ball Z, anything that has like a trademark to it. But you can see you can search by orders. And I think this might be a little broad here, but look at these little action figures, 2,400 different uh, orders. So you look at orders and do you see what I did up here? I, I, I searched by orders so I can see what has the most orders and you can find different products throughout here. I think this is a little too um, old for babies but maybe this guy right here will open up some of these and remember guys it's a testing process so you want to be able to test a bunch. Now I think these are like more like uh, kid toys rather than baby toys. So let me just go ahead and type in baby toy. Now what you want to do on your own time, you know, I don't want to, you know, make this video super, super long, but is go through each and every one of these categories. So baby toys, baby toys, zero to 12 months, baby toys, newborn, type them all in and do the process I'm about to show you. Because the more products you can go ahead and put on a list and then just start running through and testing, you know, spend like five, ten dollars per product, figure out what has the best clicks, best add to cart, best purchases, um, then you kind of kill the ones that aren't working. So let's go by orders here, search by orders, baby toys, and you can see this is probably where I got that image from. Let's go ahead and check this one out. It looks like a good little toy, a rattler. Um, how about this one that hangs? Actually, this one looks even cooler. Let's pick that one out. So you want to pick a few of these, right? And all of these are really great because you can see the number of orders is 2,500 and the stars are five stars. So you could actually, like, this is a good one. All of these on this front page are worth testing. Like these, oh my goodness. I get so excited when I make these videos too because, you know, while I'm making these videos, we're finding more and more winners, right? So you can go ahead and test them as well. I, you know, obviously I'm not gonna test every single one on these pages, but this is where most marketers stop, 1,000 orders. But you know what, 1,000 orders is a lot. It could be a viral product that's, you know, under 1,000 orders. So I would open all of these up and the key here is to test, 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 guys. Like, don't don't come tell me that like you the product the system doesn't work because it does. It works every single time. The only thing holding you back is how many products have you tested. Uh, I have you know clients come to me sometimes and say, hey John, you know I, it's just you know we're having a hard time. And then I ask them how many products did you test this week, and they said like one. And I'm like, we're testing five a day. How are you going to compete? So 
At the end of this, like I said, don't worry, I'm gonna show you a way to test these products really, really fast. So even 700 orders on the bottom of the second page, like you can just keep testing all of these products uh, because these, you know, there are, there's some demand there. If there's more than 100 orders, there's demand. And you should try to run it on Facebook because a lot of these are not being run on Facebook right now. So if you don't already know the process, we're just bringing these over to our Shopify store. We're using Facebook advertising to drive buyers. And then when somebody buys, we just ship it here from, from AliExpress. So it's pretty cool. So I think that's probably good for now. You know, you can keep going down on your own. You see the see the process and then you can kind of go up here and type in, you know, maybe baby toys 0 to 12 months and do the same thing. Search by orders and scroll all the way down and look for ones that you think are going to be winners but the key is to test a lot now I want to show you how to test really quickly so let's find one um, I like to look for products that have good pictures these show the product well but I kind of like having a, a kid in the picture too just like showing off the product these are actually kind of cool though I don't know maybe I'll test that one let's see a baby Rattler it's probably a good one as well but again you know you want to find pictures that have somebody using the product so this could be a good one, but the videos are the videos not going to turn out that great without a kid in it. So maybe this one. Yeah, this will probably be a good one. Everybody wants one of those. And then this is going to be a good one as well. And why do I say this is a good one? Because I see some good images. And what the tool I'm about to show you, um, it takes the images and creates a video. So um, that process usually takes like 30, 45 minutes, but we do it in like a minute. So this could be a good one. This looks like a, a teething ring or something. Um, and then these look really cool, these little puppet things. Uh, this might be a good one to launch too. Let's figure out which one I want to launch right here on screen because I want to show you how powerful this software is. It allows you to launch products. Like If you think of it like this, right? If you launch 10 products, you might find one or two winners. If you launch those 10 products in one day, you'll find those one or two winners in one day. But if you take you know, 10 weeks to launch those 10 products, it's gonna take a much long, longer time. Now you always wanna ship with uh, ePacket, it's a little faster. So it's going to cost a little more, but this is these ones are four dollars. Let's go ahead and launch these. So I have Oberlo open up here, and this is just an app that allows you to import products really quickly, um, which is nice. But I'm really excited to show you the software at the end of this that um, you can get today that will help you launch products and like launch the ad part of it, the videos, the targeting, so you can actually get sales. So let's go to import list here, and what do you want to call these? Ten piece puppet fingers. Yep, ten piece baby puppet fingers boom description I'm not gonna worry about that for now because I'm just all about speed let's go ahead and price these at $14.95 they used to be $29.95 I feel like that's a pretty fair price um, plus you know what I'm making uh, about $10 per sale which is great oh and these are really really great pictures for what we're about to do here so I'm excited to see these videos here. This is gonna be a viral one, I can tell. Just like, think of it like this. You're gonna be scrolling through Facebook. We're gonna be targeting mothers, right? And they're gonna be scrolling through Facebook and they're gonna be like, oh my God, that's so cute. And then they'll click, click, buy. So I just imported it in my store. You can see it's here. And I haven't touched the description, but if this turns out to be a winner, I'll spend a little more, a bit more time on the description. But for now, we're just gonna click more actions create ad show. So I assume you already have ad show. If you don't, you'll probably grab it after this. But ad show just makes your video for you, does all of your targeting, launches your Facebook ad campaign, and just takes so much time off your plate. Let's go ahead and make those one second. Let's say uh, comment yes if your baby, I won't capitalize that, baby will love. And let's call these uh, baby fingers and you know what let's go ahead and put this one at the front so you can see this is saving so much time because usually you have to make your own video right let's make it white that looks a little better uh, maybe taller no let's make it one by one so you can see you make all types of video ratios but this process usually takes like 30 minutes to make a video and then upload it to your Facebook ads all that good stuff I'm gonna grab my store link here and we will go ahead and in the next step, we're gonna find all the targeting, which is really cool because the process for finding targeting, man, without 
ad show, this is ad show by the way. Um, without ad show, the, the targeting process after making the video, you just spent 30 minutes making the video and then you have to do another 30 minutes finding the targeting. You can see the video's done, looks good. It you know shows off the product pretty well. Let's go ahead and click next step. Let's go type in baby toys and this is doing your audience insights for you, right? So what's cool is you select one right here, 58,000 people and you might wanna put some baby shower, baby toys, uh, babies are us maybe? Is that still a thing? I'll do toys are us. Toys are us, there we go. And let's see what um, Ad Chill suggests. So like Gerber Baby, yep, that's really good. Leapfrog, yep, Fisher Price. So it, it suggests all these interests and what happens here is if you select these up here, whatever you select up here is gonna show more out here. So it's doing all of your audience insights research for you, which is unbelievable because this takes so much time usually. Then you can target you know, five different ad sets towards these interests. And simply after you do that, it's like, you can see really quickly, is this gonna be a winner or not? So I'm gonna say grab yours, and let's say, aren't these cute? Free shipping today only. And this is actually a good product to do a free plus shipping. But I'm not gonna do it for now. I'm gonna target women 35 plus. Um, actually, I'll do women 30 plus. I'll do just small budgets of $2 a day, so it's $2 times five ad sets, and I'll be able to see very quickly, like, does, is it getting clicks or not? If it is getting clicks, I'll raise the budget, of course. I'll probably go in, write a better um, description and all that good stuff, and watch this. I go ahead and pick my page. It's optimized for add to cart. I'll do view contents for now because it's early on, and that's about it, guys. Like. We're done, we launched the whole campaign. We created the video, which takes 30, 45 minutes usually. <laughs> we find the targeting, which takes another 30 minutes, and we wrote the copy and launched the post. So it, it's really a time saver, and now you can see how I have time to test this one, I have time to test this one, the time to test this one. I always tell this story, but my girlfriend and I, we sat down for 10 hours one day and launched 10 products each. So a lot of products, but that's a lot of time. We found some winners, but if we could find, if we could launch 10 products in an hour, find so many more winners. So ever since we released this part of Ad Show, and this is just a small, small sample of Ad Show, Ad Show pretty much helps you automate and scale your Facebook ads. Feel free to click the link below to book a free demo to see all of it. But this is just a small part of it that helps you launch products quicker. And you can see if I go ahead and refresh this test uh, account here, I the campaign should be uploaded. See, Ad Show Puppets, oops. Ad Show Puppets. It created five or six ad sets. I can't remember what, how many I did. Five, two dollars a piece. You know, women thirty plus, Fisher Price, Leapfrog, Gerber, and so on. So this is gonna, you know, really quickly show me: Do people actually like this product? Because if people like the product, if they click on it, if they, you know, add it to cart, if they purchase it, I'm going crazy. I'm going in there. I'm gonna redo my description. You know, I'm gonna implement some upsells and we're gonna absolutely crush it. So this is how you rapid test baby products and you know, there's not much more to it. You just have to go through and once you find a winner, come back to us, say, hey, John, you know what? I found a winner, how do, what do I do next? Um, you, you increase your conversion rate. So that means you get more buyers for the same amount of people coming in, right? You, you implement some upsells. You put some trust on your store and so on and so on. So you can see the videos made, the ads made, looks pretty good. But that's about it, guys. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot. Hope you'll test out the baby niche because it's a very, very profitable niche. And uh, if you want, go ahead and subscribe as we do post new videos every day and just helping you out with your Facebook ads and all that good stuff. And then let me know below: Have you tested the baby niche before? And how you know how are you how are your results? You know, how many products did you test? Let me know that in the comments section below. If you have any questions below, also you can post them there. And then last but not least, guys, is you know, if you don't already have ad show, I'm assuming you know most people that are watching this already do, but if you don't, you can grab it um, with the link below. So subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you have a great day. Bye.